So, what's up, guys? Um, so, getting around to finally doing videos again, and this was one of those videos I wanted to release, because I wanted to just spend a, at least a few minutes to talk about it. Um, everyone by now is aware of the Stanford rape case, in which... Uh, Brock Turner uh, had sex with a un with a woman who was unconscious. Um, he was sentenced to only six months in jail, and with time served, good behavior, and other bullshit, he probably will be out in about three months, if not less. The judge in that case was uh, Aaron Persky, and because of this lenient sentence given to this jack-off, there has been, it has made national if not worldwide attention due to essentially what is a complete blow to women's rights. It's a complete blow to protection of, of victims. And what makes this even more sick is the fact that this, this scum's father, his friends and family, are trying to defend the actions with all kinds of bullshit reasons. The judge in this case basically gave this kid six months because he didn't think that the kid was cut out for prison. Is that not the fucking principle of putting someone behind bars for a crime that they have committed? Prison is not supposed to be a cushy place. Prison is supposed to be a place where you are rehabilitated for your crimes. Where you are basically supposed to go in there and be punished for what you have done. You're not supposed to like it. You're not supposed to be cut out for it. No one is technically cut out for it to begin with. People can be made for it. They can be, they can be made to be... Uh, to be bred, they can, they can be bred, basically bred for it while in prison. If they commit numerous crimes, they definitely can, you know, be bred into it. But no one is ever truly cut out for prison. That is supposed to be the fucking point. You've committed a crime, you should pay for it. I mean, this all seems to also go into, the, we could also go into a whole plethora of other issues, uh, affluenza, uh, all sorts of other bullshit like that, because essentially this is kind of a lot like the uh, case with, uh, what was his name, Ethan Couch or whoever in, um, in Texas, who basically killed four people when he was drunk driving one night. And he got off on that, basically. He only had to serve, like, a few months, like, th or 30 days or something. I mean, essentially, this is exactly the same th sort of scenario. It's some privileged young white male who completely cheats the goddamn system, gets a white sentence for committing what is basically a violent crime... And, and, and he gets six months in jail. You know, my personal opinion, if you commit any sort of heinous or violent crime, and let's be honest, rape is a violent crime, whether the person is unconscious or not, you know, it's still considered a violent crime. You've committed a heinous crime. You've violated a person's body. And, you know, there's all that sort of excuse, you know, saying, you know, well, you know, they, 
the person wanted it or they were dressed a certain way. The way that they're dressed does not have anything to do with it. If they weren't able to give consent, it's rape. And I'm not going to be standing atop a giant mountain, basically, you know, on the, on the pillar of feminism and stuff like that. I'm not obvious, I'm not going to go into a big feminist rant about it, but the truth is, and the, and the legality is, that if they cannot give consent, it is rape. Now, we could also bring up all the arguments, you know, about how such and such is by women is done by to to men, blah 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 blah. Okay, that none of that is relevant right now to this. The whole fact is, uh, Brock Turner violated a woman against her will without her consent she was passed out she was not able to give consent she was drugged and she was raped and the fact that this judge only gives this kid six months because he believes that that he's not cut out for prison well no shit he shouldn't have done the fucking crime then you know, and all the people that are trying to defend him and stuff like that ought to be ashamed of themselves. It's like, what this kid did was a violation of, of humanity. It was, a, it, it was basically a human rights abuse. You violated that person's, that person's body, and you have to pay the price for it. And frankly, if you... Anytime you put a hand, your hands on a woman in a negative fashion like that, automatically I think you need to go to jail. If you basically, if you violate, and this goes both ways too, I'm not saying just women, but men too, but if you are violating the human body in some form, you should pay the price for it. You know, five years minimum, ten years maximum, even longer in some cases, depending on what the crime, what transpired. In this case, I think that Brock Turner should be doing at least five to ten for what he did. And frankly, what he did was is a crime. What he did. Is a violation of the human body. It's a violation. It's and it's not only something that violates. It's a violation physically. It's also something that violates a person mentally, emotionally, spiritually. In a lot of cases, I mean, this it's a traumatic experience that harms the person more than just in the physical sense. And what this man did was was a heinous crime. And he needs to pay the price for it. I just think it's absolutely despicable that the law in America basically lets, essentially, essentially lets this kid roam free, you know, for essentially assaulting a woman. Because let's be honest, that's exactly what it is. Rape is a form of assault. It's a crime against humanity. And frankly, the kid needs to pay for it. So, I really just, I don't really have a big spiel to go on. I just wanted to put in my two cents about this. Because frankly, the sentence that he was given is not justice. Frankly, this kid should, this kid should be basically thrown in a jail cell with other people that have committed the same same or similar crimes and uh, basically whatever happens fucking happens because again what he did he should pay for and he should pay for it with whatever comes in the, whatever situation he's placed in but no what is he being what's being done to him he's put in solitary confinement for six months 
what justice is that? So he's all by himself with basically to roam the yard for like, what, an hour or so at a time? And he's basically given a cushy lifestyle until he basically is released? What justice is that? No, fuck that. Put the asshole in a jail cell with other, you know, in a holding cell. Let him loose with other, in, in the, in the, in a unit that's basically filled with other rapists and pedophiles and you know what if he gets bent over in the shower when he drops the soap well you know what whatever fucking happens happens because what he did he should pay for jail is not prison is not a is not supposed to be a cushy little thing it's not supposed to be anything glamorous that's the whole point. It's supposed to be a place to correct deviant behavior, to correct juvenile behavior. And what he did was a deviant juvenile offense, and he should be paying for it. But no, that's not what happened. That's not what the judge thought. And now, because of this, this is, this is why it's been taken to the national level. This is why we're getting other courts involved. This is why, this is why even it's being taken to the to the uh, to the the U.S. Capitol to change certain policies and stuff like that, change the criminal code. And frankly, it should be because if this is the just the so-called justice system that we have, then I think we need to scratch that whole liberty and justice for all crap off the Pledge of Allegiance, because obviously there isn't liberty and justice for all, it's just liberty and justice for those privileged enough to have it, or in this case, afford it. The, there, there is no liberty, there is no justice, there is no freedom in a society that basically, that basically has this rape culture that shames women for because they of some what happened to them we still live in this culture that basically says that what a woman is wearing or what did you do to provoke a person how about change that mindset and be like uh what and be like uh maybe teach people to to control themselves to not do what they do and i don't want to hear the boys will be boys sort of bull crap because that is a straw man argument. So, I'm sorry. This whole case has just pissed me off. Because, frankly, this is if this was a African-American male from Chicago that did this to some woman, this man would probably be serving 10, 15 years for it, if not longer. But no, because this was some privileged white male... You know, everybody starts pulling off some sob story and, and outright just lying to the judge, to essentially the public, and tries to put on this, this thing as if, paint this image as if they're the victims. No. You are a fucking criminal. And you need to pay the price. And the people defending him ought to be freaking locked up themselves for what they've done. For, for the shit that they're doing because essentially what you're uh, the lies the bullshit that you're making up is essentially in front of a in front of a damn jury is considered perjury which is also illegal just a little food for thought I'm NorCal Nick leader of the revolutionist movement this has been NorCal Corner peace